वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल कदम अकेडमी फ्रेंड्स दिस इज द सिंगल डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इन वेरियस मैकेनिकल वाइब्रेशन एग्जाम्पल्स आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट एट ऑन मॉल दिस कदम अकेडमी चैनल प्लीज गो इन डिटेल ऑल द वीडियोज आर देयर सो यू विल फाइंड द वेरियस न्यूमेरिकल्स एंड दिस न्यूमेरिकल इज बेस्ड ऑन दी वॉइस्टिंग ड्रम वॉइस्टिंग ड्रम इज देयर and it's an example of transverse vibration okay so this is the figure picture show you this is the beam at the end of this beam when it is fixed free end is there this pulley arrangement is there on this pulley the wire is mounted this and which is uh, uh, one end of this wire is wire rope is fixed with the load load of m capital m wire with the diameter d okay this length here it is shown capital l and this beam with the dimension of this beam here it is shown to you cn dimension is rectangle rectangle shape or you can see here the rectangle dimension a is the the dimension and t is the thickness this is the cross sectional area for this wire is small d and length of this beam is b okay so what is the numerical hoisting drum carrying a steel wire rope of diameter d is mounted at the end of a cantilever beam this is the cantilever beam of width a as detail shown in the figure 1 this is the figure 1 hoisting drum e is the x model of of elasticity of the beam and wire rope okay so this e capital e is the x model of elasticity for this beam and this wire it is the same show that the omega n is equal to that we have to prove it that we have to prove it okay omega n is equal to this equation we have to prove it so how to prove it for this we have to consider this beam with some stiffness and this wire with some stiffness so k beam is the stiffness of the the spring it is considered as a spring and again it is uh, the wire is considered as a spring and its stiffness is k wire it is written here and from this figure it will be clear mathematical representation of this physical system will be like this so it will be clear that they are in series okay and this m is the mass attached at this end of this spring so by using the series formula equivalent spring we can find out stiffness equivalent k equivalent we can find out by using this two series combination so for this purpose what we have to do we have to find out this the k beam means the stiffness first we have to find out what the stiffness stiffness uh, the stiffness of the beam stiffness to the beam that k beam you can write here like this this how you can find out Uh, this beam is nothing but the cantilever beam, and deflection of this beam at the end of uh, when it is end is free, the deflection is given by the formula del is equal to um, the W L. W is the weight. T E I X. This is the standard formula for the deflection for the cantilever beam. One end is fixed. One end is free and the del is you can say del 1 for the kb del 1 so what will the k beam value that will the w by del 1 so again we will write here rewriting this equation the w denominator W. I just put the value of this del one 
here this value I am putting in this formula 3 e i x ok this is the x so what will the k beam now k beam become 3 e i x l q and we know that the beam for uh, having the rectangular cross section A is the two dimension and this is the thickness T ok these both dimensions are A and T for this rectangular for the rectangular cross section what is the Ix here in this formula Ix the as per the formula the a t q by 12 put this value in this one so we get the this uh, length of this beam length of beam is b here we are written l ok here we are written l this l is nothing but the b in this case length of beam is b consider as a b so k beam beam means cantilever beam becomes 3 e into what is the ix a t cube so a t cube in denominator 12 into this l cube nothing but the b cube b cube okay that means the final i will write here e a t cube in denominator 4 b cube correct this is for the beam now now what we have to find out for the string why we have to find out because this both the springs are in series the for the find out the we have to find out the k equivalent so k equivalent we can find out by k beam when these two uh, these are spring in series this is considered the two springs are in series okay so for this case this is the formula plus 1 by this k what wire this k wire k beam okay. this will get under now what we have to find out the stiffness of the wire how to find out the stiffness of wire the wire rope can be considered as uh, axially loaded here the wire rod is axially loaded so what will happen then axially loaded member is the deflection axially loaded member and its deflection E so K wire K wire means stiffness of wire this is the del 2 value of del 2 Putting in this equation, we get A E by L. Or what is the area of this value of A? That is the pi d square. D is the diameter for this one. Okay. 4 here, yeah. 5 by 4 d square L E. Okay. So putting this value of this equation 2, this is equation, I will write here, this is the equation 1. So this equation 1 here, and this is equation 2. This value and this value, I have to put in this equation. I have to put in this equation, equation 3. 
So after this putting this equation, the k equivalent is k equivalent which is equal to this for beam. What are what is the value of beam? 1 upon 1 upon k beam. So it will go on top side 4b is reverse of this k beam because it is in denominator e a t q plus again in this case also it will go here you can write directly I have written here directly this formula okay because this k wire it is in denominator okay it will get reciprocate this formula this formula written here like this directly so final answer rewriting again this same above the common term taken outside pi this d square b q plus l a t q back at close and in denominator pi a t q and d square that is the in denominator so what is the value of this omega n this uh, this is the one by k equivalent okay if we reciprocate this and find out the k equivalent value so we will get value like this 1 by 4 again this will go on top side pi a t cube d square in denominator pi d square b cube plus l a t cube this is the answer but we know this omega n is equal to under root of k by m so this value of k is nothing but k equivalent it is putting in this equation i will write here directly this omega n is equal to e this m will remain there for m okay inside the bracket pi a t cube d square pi d square v cube plus l a t cube so this is the answer final answer we have to find out so i will show you the same is we have to show so we have proved this e by 4m pi a t cube d square in denominator pi d square b cube plus l a t cube the same thing we have derived here so friend so this is the simple technique by using this spring cells in series only beam beam and their values of the stiffness stiffness for the beam and stiffness for the wire that's we have to find out this by two step and by using these two equation and this equation for the equivalent spring stiffness okay k equivalent we can find out the so we can derive this equation that omega n is equal to this mass so friend this is the derivation for the transverse vibration okay hoisting drum or spring in series or the this transverse vibration okay. so friend if you are not subscribe my channel please please subscribe my channel for the more more videos